What's up, y'all? Your girl, Sandy. What's up? What y'all think? I got me some new hair and changed my color. Obviously, you've seen that. I also changed my style just a little bit, put a few more bangs uh, across the forehead, layered it just a little bit, added some highlights. Got some layering here on the right-hand side, right? Okay? I wanted to do something different, y'all. Y'all know I usually don't stay with the same hairstyle every time I get a new install. I try not to change. I try not to keep the same color either, but the last few installs have been just the natural black, and that was because I had just gotten that job at the TV station, and I didn't want to do anything too grandiose yet. So um, anyway, I've had a little time to kind of get my bearings of the station, and so I wanted to do something a little different. wanted to add a little color, because you know, spring, summer's coming up, so your girl wanted to get ready, and that was my answer. I, I hope it looks good. I mean, I'm still trying to get used to it, and it's not like I've never done color before. My older videos, you've probably seen that I've done color changes before. Before, but this is the first time I've actually gotten my hair colored, you know, as in highlighted professionally at a salon. Any other time I've rocked the hair in a different color, it was before I even started wearing, you know, the unprocessed hair. It's been you know, bags of Saga Platinum or Saga Gold from the beauty supply store, and it'd be like, you know, the mixture bags of, you know, 4, 33, number 1, whatever, okay? So anyway, this hair actually came in natural black, and it's from a company called Glamour House of Hair, okay? And they sent me the hair for my review, so thank you so much to Glamour, Glamour House of Hair. I keep wanting to say Glamour Doll, but Glamour House of Hair for sending me the hair, and, um, Anyway, just had it installed just a couple days ago. Had the highlights done um, a couple days after that. And anyway, as you can see here, it's gorgeous. I love it. Um, first and foremost, I can tell y'all right now, the texture of the hair is bananas sick. It's like bananas sick, okay? The hair that I have in my head is called Pure Sophistication. I have two bags of, um, let's see, two bags of 18 in my hair, 18 inches, and a half a bag of 16. And I had originally asked for three and a half bundles. I keep saying bags. Bundles is what I mean, y'all, okay? Um, I actually had asked for three and a half bundles because you never know with with certain types of hair. I don't know what the um, thickness of the hair is going to be and I like my hair thick. Y'all know I love my hair thick. Now the last install that I did, I actually put in more hair and the hair was so thick that I feel like I put too much hair in my head. Real talk. But it was already in my head. I wasn't going to take it out. It's, it was beautiful hair. Now this time I told myself I'm not going to go too ham with the hair. So I was just going to slowly but surely install it and see where the thickness lied and then from there determine how it was going to work out. So they sent me two and a half bundles of hair and ironically enough it it worked out perfect okay so I think they had run out of the 20 because I wanted a bag of 20 as well so they ended up sending me two bundles of 18 and a half of a bundle of, of 16 okay so anyway this is the hair it is absolutely amazing all the information is down in the description box for the hair itself okay and the website and all that good stuff now I can tell you off tops okay off tops this texture is bananas and I'm gonna get close so y'all can see the hair itself okay now I'm gonna go ahead and show you what the hair looked like when I first got the hair I got the hair color in a natural 1B and I'm looking down at my computer to make sure I'm telling you the right information a natural 1B okay and the hair was just pretty much a basic black hair so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the video of what it looked like and um, when I first got it right here here is the hair out of the drawstring bag and I just wanted you guys to see the color and the luster on it as you can see okay and this is naturally of course before I've had it colored but I wanted you guys to see what the hair looked like in its natural state before I manipulated it I wanted to show this to you because this is going into my head here in just um, another day or so and so I wanted to show that to you before I got it colored Okay, so that's what the hair looked like when I first got it, minus the fact that I would already taken those ties off the top of the bundle of hair. So it did have some ties on the top. I'm going to put some pictures on my blog um, later on, probably today or tomorrow, with the actual hair as it was when I first got it out of the package. So I'll put it on my blog, and the link is down below. So just follow my blog or whatever. I've been um, doing some more blogging, including the fact that I'm... I blogged about my nails. I just got my nails done too. Finally, y'all. Okay. Now, what I did differently outside of the, the style itself and the highlights is I have a closure on the top of my head that she made for me. Now, um, I normally like, I don't like when my hair is first done. For real, for real. 
I like my hair a little bit older. So when I really like my hair, it's going to be like a week or two into me having the hairstyle because I feel like everything needs to mold to my head. And that's just kind of how I am. But she made a closure for me. And the reason for that is because is originally I actually, when I got it installed, had my own hair out. But here's the thing. I'm 95% natural. The situation is I've been doing so much manipulation of my own personal hair because I've had leave out every time I've done an install these last couple of times. It's killing my hair. I can't do it no more. I mean, I mean, I never before wore my hair out ever, 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 ever. And the reason for that was because I didn't want to have to put heat on my hair. And really, my hair hates heat. And that's just what it is. And the other thing I can tell you too, just off top, because I'm trying to just think of everything that I observed just on the initial install, is the fact that this hair does not blend at all with my hair. So even when I try to flat iron my own natural hair, because it was my hair was exposed when I first got the install done and then we used the last bit of that hair that you saw in that video, um, last bit of the hair to make this closure, okay? And um, so yeah, it's not working. My hair will not straighten enough to even do that, to even blend with this hair. So I'm gonna tell you right now, it does not blend with my hair at all. It's just, it's that silky. It's got a very high sheen to it. It is very, very silky, okay? On to Glamour House of Hair. When the um, hair came in, it also came with their card, okay? And that's the card right there, all right? And the mesh bag or whatever that it came in, these little cute purple bags, and it's just like a little drawstring thing, just like that, okay? So that's kind of what it came in, okay? I received it within the first few days. It was only like two or three days before I got it, so it was perfect, it was wonderful. Um, and so the first impression of it was great. The texture of the hair, I can tell you right off the top, is, I wish you could feel it, it's like, and I, and I know I use the word butter all the time, but it is truly like butter. My stylist was like, this hair is sick as far as the texture's concerned, okay? I mean, it is bananas how it feels. It's so soft. The one thing that I was really worried about is once I started to put that color in the hair, I was wondering if it was going to change the texture of the hair, and it did not. So I can tell you that. I mean... We went from bleaching this hair pretty much. We had to lift the color and then put the highlights on. So I saw it bleach blonde and then it went to this color. We basically put the, the highlights, the color from there. So I can tell you right now, what we did did not change the texture of the, the, the hair itself. Okay, so I can tell you that. The one thing I can say so far that I'm a little concerned with, and it might be because the hair is brand spanking new, you know, right out the, you know, the gate, okay, is that... I'm not sure if it's going to keep and maintain a curl, all right? So every morning when I get up to go to work, I usually put some hot rollers in the hair. And usually when I first get a new install, it'll kind of maintain that curl pretty well. Now, the first day I actually rocked the hair, I um, it was a humid day, really humid. It just rained outside, so it was kind of misty. And so as soon as I walked out the car, the, the hair dropped, okay? The, fall, the curls just dropped. So I assumed it was because of the weather. Well, you know, today I went to work, nice clear day, no issues as far as that's concerned, and the curls still dropped. So I don't know if it's for this particular type of hair. I don't know that it's um, because the hair is brand spanking new and, you know, that kind of thing. Because I know when I first get my installs, depending on the type of hair that it is, sometimes the hair needs to kind of just get your natural oils in it, if that makes sense, before it starts to kind of work on its own. And I leave the rollers in for a while. So it's just the hot rollers that I've used. I haven't used a curling wand or a curling iron to it. So I will let you know that for sure as well. And I'll let you know if anything changes with hot rollers. But from what I see so far, it hasn't maintained the curl that I needed to, to maintain, specifically here in this area. Um, you can kind of see the curls have kind of just dropped. Okay. And I literally... Um, leave those rollers in for a good minute and a half, okay? And they're super hot, all right? So, I will let you know if that changes. That's just first impression as far as curls are concerned. So I do plan on playing with this hair a little bit. I'm gonna curl it, I'm gonna try to style it a little bit. I didn't do as much as I wanted to the last install. There's a, a tool I wanna use on this hair. I haven't done any bendy rolls on it, so I'm gonna play around with this hair a little bit more and let you know how that goes as well. Because I know you guys are probably gonna wanna know how the hair turns out with that, okay? So those are the kind of couple first impression type things. It's drop dead beautiful hair. Tangling, no issues. What's so freaking ever thus far, okay? None. Beautiful, beautiful texture hair, okay? I can tell you that off tops. Shedding, no issues with shedding so far. 
None whatsoever, freaking ever. And I did not seal my wefts. I know some people may ask about that. So I'm going to let you know that. I typically do not. Okay. Now on a reinstall, um, I probably will just to, you know, just to, to do it. Okay. But when I first get the hair in, I kind of like to see it without it being sealed just because I want to see what the hair does. You know what I mean? I want to see what it really does in its natural state. All right. Now, obviously this hair has been processed because I've colored it. So this is going to change, obviously the fact that it's not, it's not unprocessed hair anymore because it's been colored. However, um, again, this hair feels the same way that it did when I first got it out the package, period. All right. And it's been washed. So I should let you know that it's been co-washed as well. Okay. So anyway, this is the color and this is the hair as it looks right now. All right. Y'all have to let me know what you think. I know it's drastic. I mean, it's still taking me a second to get used to even looking at, okay? And um, definitely hard to, to play around with because when I first change my hair color, when I do anything drastic like this, and it's been a while since I've done something this drastic and I've never done this much in highlights ever, nor have I ever colored my hair for real, for real. Um, it takes me a second to play with my makeup, my wardrobe, not my wardrobe, but my, the colors that I wear change a little bit, you know. So it's gonna take me a second to get acclimated. So if it looks a little funny, you know, it'll take me a second to get used to it, but I love it so far, okay? So anyway, if you guys have any questions or if there's anything that you guys want me to kind of observe about the hair as time goes, um, let me know down below so I can kind of keep an eye out for it. But that's it, all the information for the hair will be down below. I do have a couple of hair tutorials up already that I've put up of me flat ironing my hair and what I use and how I flat iron my hair um, when it's in its wavy curly state. Um, so if you want to check that out, that link is down below. And I've also got another hair tutorial of me just showing you how I co-wash my hair. That link is also down below. So definitely make sure to check out the description box because I know I do get questions a lot about how I maintain my hair in between hairstyles because I really don't go to the salon a lot unless I'm trying to do something specific with my hair like this, an install, that kind of thing. Okay? So all those links are down below. And that's about it, y'all. just wanted to pop in, show you all the new coif, the new do, the new color. Let me know what y'all think and I will talk to you guys soon. Follow me on Twitter, twitter.com forward slash Socialite Sandy. And of course, friend me on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash The Socialite Life. And follow my blog, thesocialitelife.blogspot.com. And as always, I love y'all. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.